What's up, everybody? My name's Sean. I'm coming to you from Austin, Texas. And this is Read and Feed, where we read God's Word and feed our souls. And I'm very thankful for your regular host, Joe Montoya. He's one of my friends for over 10 years. Very thankful for him. He's a good dude, great man of God. Value his friendship. And uh, hey, he taught me how to surf in Seal Beach, California a few years ago also, and very thankful for our friendship and this opportunity. We're going to read Proverbs chapter 22. Let's pray. After we I read Proverbs 22, then I'm going to share some thoughts. So Father, give us wisdom and insight into your word. Thank you for leading us and guiding us into who you want us to be, who you want us to talk to about your great word, and to lead us where you want us to go. Lord, our future is in your hands. We trust you and we love you and so thankful for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Proverbs 22. A good name is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. Rich and poor have this in common. The Lord is the maker of them all. The prudent see danger and take refuge, but the simple keep going and pay the penalty. Humility is the fear of the Lord. Its wages are riches and honor and life. In the paths of the wicked are snares and pitfalls, but those who would preserve their life stay far from them. Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. The rich rule over the poor, and the borrower, as borrower, as Texan, borrower, is slave to the lender. Whoever sows injustice reaps calamity, and the rod they wield in fury will be broken. The generous will themselves be blessed, for they share their food with the poor. Drive out the mocker, and out goes strife, quarrels, and insults are ended. One who loves a pure heart and who speaks with grace will have the king for a friend. The eyes of the Lord keep watch over knowledge, but he frustrates the words of the faithful. The sluggard says, there's a lion outside. I'll be killed in the public square. The mouth of an adulterous woman is a deep pit. A man who is under the Lord's wrath falls into it. Folly is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline will drive it far away. One who oppresses the poor to increase his wealth and one who gives to the rich both come to poverty. 30 sayings of the wise. Saying number one, this is verse 17. Pay attention and turn your ear to the sayings of the wise. Apply your heart to what I teach, for it is pleasing when you keep them in your heart and have them all of them ready on your lips so that your trust may be in the Lord. I teach you today, even you. Have I not written 30 sayings for you, sayings of counsel and knowledge, teaching you to be honest and speak the truth so that you bring back truthful reports of those you serve? Do not exploit the poor because they are poor, and do not crush the needy in court, for the Lord will take up their case and will exact life for life. Do not make friends with a hot-tempered person. Do not associate with one easily angered, or you may learn their ways in yourself and get yourself ensnared. Do not be one who shakes hands in pledge or puts up security for debts if you lack the means to pay. Your very bed will be snatched from under you. Do not move an ancient boundary stone set up by your ancestors. In verse 29, lastly, do you see someone skilled in their work? They will serve before kings. They will not serve before officials of low rank. In Proverbs 22, there's, there's tons of famous sayings. Teach a child in the way they should go. Humility is the fear of the Lord. There's, there's many that you've probably heard before. They're truths that are timeless and eternal. I love how the Proverbs uh, is filled with do's and don'ts. How many like me, maybe you are like that, just tell me what to do and tell me where to go. And and Lord and his graciousness you know, lives life with us and, and helps us in every way. And I love Proverbs. Um, and this one particularly, it starts off, by talking about a, a person's reputation. And a person's reputation, the Bible tells us, is more esteemed than riches. And 
reputation is a reflection of character. And many of these Proverbs, God is dealing with our character, which is who we are in the inside. And who we are in the inside eventually comes out to our outside. Another way of saying is what's in us always comes out of us. And so the Bible's telling us here that no matter what age, no matter what stage, no matter what status, no matter what time, what country, what language, no matter what, that a person's character, a great character, is truly what matters in this world. It's the ingredients, if you will, that make up greatness. And hey, if we're talking about ingredients, my mind immediately goes to a burrito. I think about just a, the best burrito that you've had, or I've had many, I've lived in many states, I've been in multiple countries, I've had burritos uh, my whole life, and I can tell you the difference between a good burrito and a bad burrito. Maybe this speaks to you right now, it's the ingredients that make up what's great. My personal opinion, best burrito I've ever had is in San Diego, California. Big is your face tortilla, bigger than your huge tortilla, carne asada, guacamole, sour cream, rice, beans, a bunch of salsa, and of course, there's a bunch of french fries inside. That makes to me the best burrito in the world. And so those ingredients are the difference maker. And in our life, God's telling us in this proverb, he's telling us to, to be humble, to lead with grace, to have peace, to to have love in our hearts. And all those ingredients make up a great character and that's reflected with our reputation. I hope you're blessed. I hope the next time you eat a burrito, you think about the ingredients that make that up and make it great. And I hope you think about the ingredients that are in your life because we can truly work on our character and it does make a difference in people's life. If our character is solid and great and reflects the, the things of God and the people around us are going to are going to be better. The people that we don't know are going to be better. Hey, it makes the world a better place. So I pray that you are blessed. I pray that you subscribe to this channel. If you have any comments, feedback or any questions, please just fill it out below. God bless you. Give you a fist bump. Take care and we wish you well.